You've got to tune to KEXP. We're listener-powered radio at 90.3 FM in Seattle. You can find us online around the globe at kexp.org. Today we got in studio one of my favorite bands of all time. It's Band of Horses. Welcome. Thank you. And you didn't know that, Ryan? I had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, now you know. I know I'm not alone in feeling that way, and we're always so delighted when we can you. have you live on the air. Pleasure being here, really. Building up a fortune, stash away in a hidden place. You can hide if you want to. You can hide, but then one day everything's gonna be undone. Everything's gonna be undone. Everything's gonna be to be wound so tight 
somebody such a mess Try your will and try your mind You'll be falling like all the rest Everything's gonna be undone Everything's gonna be undone Everything's gonna be Thank you so, so much. And I know that South Carolina is home right now, but you lived in Seattle for so long, Ben, at least you. And does it feel like a homecoming of sorts when you play oh, in Seattle? Oh, man. No doubt about it. I mean, the guest list alone will definitely <laughs> make you feel like you're back home. Um, we're very lucky. I mean, we have we have a, a couple of those spots around the country, like Tyler lives in Asheville, North Carolina. We go to Asheville. We got a lot of friends and family there. Um, Ryan and I grew up in Columbia, outside of Columbia, South Carolina. So we go and play in Columbia and it's insane. Um, and Charleston as well, where I live now. And um, of course, coming back to Seattle. I mean, I think Seattle actually trumps them all with guest list destruction. <laughs> but it's like, it's, it's a great problem to have because we have so many great friends here that uh, it's always a pleasure to get back. And I'm engaged now and, I, and now in her family, she has a lot of family in Seattle. So that's just going to add oh, to the Oh, man. Oh, man. There it is. Family affair. <laughs> there goes that. You know, there won't be any tickets left for uh, fans who aren't, aren't part of the family. <laughs> it's at least half and half. <laughs> yeah. We're going to have to all become related. And just, uh... <laughs> Let's just do that. <laughs> well, Seattle is where Band of Horses started, and it was so sad to see you move away. But I was happy for you because I know you were spending so much time on the road and you moved back to South Carolina because you wanted to be near family exactly. when you had your time off. And yeah. you've been there for a while and now you've hooked up with some old friends and it seems like things are going great for the band. They are, yeah. We've we've somehow been at it. I guess I started the band in 2004, so we're in our, we're in our decade existence here. And um, it's just amazing. It's It's amazing that... You know, we get to travel the globe and make people happy and sad and make them feel something um, and pay the bills at the same time. So I've, I feel like we're incredibly fortunate. I've been incredibly fortunate to see the band many, many times. I've seen you in all sizes of venues at Numo's. I've seen you at the Bowery Ballroom and great outdoor settings like Sasquatch and Pioneer Square out in Portland. And you have the audience in the palm of your hand you bring it at every single show and i was so excited to see this new album acoustic at the ryman come out and it's a really new way for me to experience the band and i'm loving hearing these songs acoustic today how did you uh come up with the idea of doing an acoustic show and then releasing it well our plan was we we recorded this whole month-long tour and 
I mean, all but maybe those shows were acoustic um, at the Ryman. Well, we had like, we were just, because the venue itself, that room lends itself so well to acoustic performance, um, we thought it'd be a nice treat to mix it up a little bit and have, um, you know, maybe like 45 minutes of acoustic material and then come out and do our usual rock set. Um, as we were reviewing the recordings of the entire tour, we gravitated towards that. It just had this, it had this uh, fragility to it or something because we're not, it's not our, our usual mode of, of performing live. And it's, and it's a bit nerve wracking, but I think that tension in there, it, as acoustic as it was, added some electricity to the evening. And there was just something that was really appealing to us that uh, we thought, well, that's more exciting than doing something that's just kind of easy for us to do. I mean, not like a, a rock show is that easy, but right. um, I don't know. This just seemed more interesting, you know. To we, we like taking risks, obviously. So um, it just it was a no brainer to release that. Well, a rock show is probably not easy, but it's something you've done many, many times, so you're comfortable with it. And I imagine adding that scary element of doing something new keeps it fun and fresh. Oh yeah, and you know we we also we didn't have much time to prepare for those shows, so. We really, we were trying to figure out arrangements to those songs the minute before we hopped on the stage. And I think you can really tell there's, I mean, there's laughter on the microphone. There's, there's moments where there's voices cracking or I'm throwing a clam on the guitar. But mm -hmm. that's part of it, that human aspect that I think is really important. Well, you clearly love playing together. And in fact, watching you do this intimate three uh, band member performance today, it feels sort of actually like you're singing love songs to one another. You <laughs> clearly enjoy playing together. We do indeed. I'm, I'm so fortunate that, um, that Ryan and Tyler came into my life, um, Ryan again, and meeting Tyler for the first time when we were recording Cease to Begin. Um, it was also one of those things where once, we, once I ran into Ryan, um, we reconnected. It was obvious that I think I asked you immediately to come on tour with us. And same with Tyler. I think we met and yeah. called you immediately and said, please come and just and join the band with us. And, mm -hmm. and with Bill and Creighton as well, it's the same kind of just crossing of paths that was very obvious right from the get that those, these are the guys. And I uh, just couldn't be more happy to, to travel the world together. And, and we really are a tight family. I want to ask you a little bit about songwriting because you are such a tight family. There's five of you now. And I remember talking to you in the early days of Band of Horses and songwriting was a very uh, solitary and isolated endeavor for you. In fact, I think I heard that uh, Ode to LRC on Cease to Begin meant Little Red Cabin where you went alone to write your songs. Is that true? Is that how you used to write? And is it different now? And also, not only are, do you have this band that you're so connected with, but you have a family now. It must not be as easy to get away. That's very true. Yeah, I mean, luckily, they're big enough where they go to school during the day, and I can um, um, complain quiet or loudly into a microphone or quietly if, if uh, no one's listening. Um, but I still do get out a little bit and try to lock myself into... Um, a new place that is, you know, there's a bit of paranoia mixed in with the whatever noises are bumping around. Um, I, I really enjoyed that, that kind of, that isolation that really helps me dig in. But for the first time, actually, um, recently, we all went to a place together. We all went to a, a town called Bat Cave, North Carolina, if you can believe that's a town. Um, and we all holed up for a week and, and brought our instruments and just laid it down just played with each other for for days without any sort of rehearsal stuff getting in the way or i mean usually when we get together we're all so spread out that when we get together it's like we don't even rehearse for tours you know we'll, we'll get up and our our rehearsal is in front of you know a festival audience or something <laughs> yeah. so it's so nice to have the the opportunity to all get together and connect in that and you know such a an, an intense thing when you're writing songs so i don't know we, we're connecting even more i think now as we grow old in this life together. <laughs> yeah. Well, you, as you said, you made it to the 10-year mark. That's a great sign. I hope there are many, many decades more music from Dand of Horses. Speaking of collaboration, um, you collaborated with Macklemore and Ryan Lewis on the song Starting Over on what has now become the incredibly successful album, The Heist. Yeah. And I'm wondering what you thought when they gave you a call and asked you to help out on that. Oh, man, that was awesome. I think we were just, we were in Los Angeles um, wrapping up our last full length. Um, and 
I got an email from Megan Jasper at Sub Pop, who's like a, a really great friend and a and she's she's one of the most trusted voices I know in this music business. I if she if she says jump, I ask how high and how many times would you like me to? I mean, she's she's so smart and has great intuition. So she mentioned that these guys were making you know some waves up here, and uh, she she knew that they they wanted some help with some vocalists on singing some hooks. Um, so I immediately jumped at it. I emailed um, their manager, and I think within a week they came down to Los Angeles. I booked uh, just a really small little studio. We went in there and, and met and knocked it out in a day. Had a great time connecting with them. And, I mean, at that point it was – there was there's no telling what was going to happen. I mean, they're an independent artist. Um, you know, it just seemed also fun to try something new. I had no idea that it would end up being the uh, smash success that it is. Well, and I, I heard it was an amazing experience for them as well. And Ben said that after working with you all on that, that it really affected the way he finished the remainder of the album. And it came wow. to be one of his favorite songs on the album. And I think many people who listen to the record think the same thing. That's so. amazing. It still seems unreal. You know, I mean, it, how often does that happen that an independent artist can go and just shoot through the stratosphere right into like, I mean, global just success it's, it's, it couldn't happen to better people um, and to an independent artist I think it really shakes up the industry and makes people you know take a harder look at uh, what's important well it's been incredible and fun to watch and as you said it couldn't happen to better people and it makes it even sweeter when that happens absolutely speaking of incredible people I see you sporting that Sarah Cahoon shirt there oh yeah and your longtime friend and former bandmate and uh, I'm thinking you and Sarah ought to collaborate you know, well, we're lucky enough that um, on this tour, she's going to be joining us for um, the second half of it. Uh, she and Jay are going to come out and open some shows, and I, I would be way into that, especially in this dynamic where we, you know, can really get the nuance of things instead of all the loud banging and stuff. I think um, I would, I would be very much up for that. Okay. One, two. Still be cold, party come and go on, go on. And I'm about to set this song till we party on, go on. You know why? Better kid yourself. You got it wrong. And so I brought you. Flexing thought, words are at lost, lost. If it's a good day, skip me call. Your party's gonna come, it's come on. You know why? It's better to get yourself. Don't you ever listen at all? Your parents aren't enforcing the law. Let it rip a little bit. Is the vocal level all right? I might have to just 
crank it a little bit here. <clears throat> I'll just try and stay. There you go. Pretty close. Ready? Sure. Well, it's so, so great to have you take time to stop by in studio. We couldn't love you more and so proud of your success. And oh, the thank pleasure you. is ours, Cheryl. Thank you so much for having us. It's great to see you all, Tyler and Ryan. Thank and you. Tyler, no stranger to the KEXP <laughs> studios. And uh, you couldn't be surrounded by better musicians, I'm telling you. You all really, really hit it out of the park. Thank you oh, so thank much, you. Cheryl. Thank you. Thanks for having us. It's such an honor. You've got a tune to KEXP Seattle. <laughs> 